Hello, everyone. Phoenix Tremaine here, and it's that time again. It's the summer preview for Young and the Restless. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you much. I do thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button so you too know it's a good channel for soap fans. And we have a membership where you have already gotten this information a few days ago. Uh, we give spoilers up to two weeks in advance. And um, we have our live on Fridays where we can talk live on Zoom and, um, you know, just talk about the soaps and while I give all the spoilers and, and everything, you know, for the, for the member section. So give that membership a try. We'd love to have you. And we're going to begin with uh, the Newmans, Ashlyn uh, and Michael and Lauren. So the dynamic of the Newman family is upended when Victoria threatens to cut ties with the family because she's starting her new life with Ashlyn. She don't care who, who cares? She's going to do it. So while Nikki and Nick would do their best to reason with Victoria, Victor realizes that he has one more card to play and he works to minimize Ashlyn's presence in Victoria's life. This plan activates Michael to revisit his mischievous side. And um, this is going to be much to Lauren's dismay. So Lauren's already not happy. First time he went out the country to, you know, help out Victor and ended up in jail and she didn't have any contact with him. And now here he go again, running behind Victor, ready to do his dirty work. So at least it gives Michael something to do. Adam, Sally, Victor, and Victoria. Adam and Sally will take advantage of the family drama to perfect their plan to emerge as a true power couple in Genoa City. Victor will have mixed emotions as he's both proud of Adam, but he is not trying to let Adam be uh, CEO of Newman Enterprises because he still wants Victoria to maintain that position. And so while Adam is plotting to keep, uh, uh, what's the name, Ashlyn and Victoria together to make sure that Victor has no choice but to make him CEO again, um, you know, Victor's going to be Victor. So let's just say Victor's going to Victor. Uh, in as an Adam fan, I would love for him to just take his money, start a new company, and just be like a rival company to Newman. Uh, I think that would be the best course of action for him. But, you know, Newman's going to Newman. Phyllis, Jack, and Diane. Diane will stop at nothing to disrupt Jack and Phyllis' romantic reunion while keeping the perfect game face with both Jack and Kyle. Now, if only Phyllis could get a game face because all her only face is mad. <laughs> mad that Diane exists. Phyllis, Nikki, and Kyle and Summer. Phyllis and Nikki form an alliance to get rid of uh, Diane Jenkins. Kyle and Summer's marriage will be tested as they find themselves in the middle of it. Thanks to their feuding mothers, Kyle will also stop at nothing to protect Harrison from all this surrounding drama, which leads him to make a shocking decision. Jack, Allie, and Noah. Jack welcomed Allie to town and will do his best to connect with her and make up for lost time of chemo. Allie will find herself drawn to the family business and Noah Newman. So they want sleeping pills in the afternoon because I'm sorry, but Allie and Noah, that's snooze fest. They need to do something to spice it up quick. Mariah and Tessa. The honeymoon may be over sooner rather than later for Mariah and Tessa when they face an unexpected challenge as a couple. Don't know what their challenge is, but at least it sounds like they're getting the storyline. Chancellor Winters, Nate, Elena, Amani, and Amanda. Yeah, they're that like once or twice a month stories that they do for them. According to this, the Chancellor Winters merger will be the talk of the town as Lily and Devon host a splashy lunch party this summer which brings Jill home for a visit. The merger will lead Billy to examine his role in this new venture as Lily takes on a major leadership role. Devon will adjust to no longer being the lone boss, while Nate will be busy keeping his relationship with Elena afloat while fighting off Imani's advances. Amanda will learn shocking news that will upset her newfound happiness. And finally, Sharon, Chelsea, Chloe, Chance, and Abby. The effects of Ray's death will continue to be felt in Genoa City as Sharon struggles to adjust with life without him. Chelsea manages her emotions as she faces her true feelings for Ray. 
which tests her friendship with Chloe. Chances determine excel at her career at his career to make Ray proud, but Abby probably worries his total focus on the job will pull him away from her and Dominic because of course Abby only cares about Abby and he can't have just like a job and just do that too. No, you got to be Abby and a baby 24 seven because she's the center of the universe. And, but not for me, because I always fast forward when she's on screen. It doesn't say it, but we also got the spoiler last week that Abby and Devon are bonding and getting closer and it's going to upset um, Chance that he feels like he's not connected to the baby the way Devon is. And so um, even though it's not in the summer preview, uh, we're that's the road we're taking. And I mentioned this months ago, back in February sweeps, that I had found out that they were uh, trying to do an Abby Chance and um, a Devon Love Triangle which I didn't want then, and I don't want it now. So you can let me know what you want in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video.